Stephen Schnall here from Schnall Media Consulting. I'd like to discuss with you a topic that's probably relevant to anyone who deals with some sort of printed matter. Whether you're a printer, whether you're a graphic artist, whether you're a organization, an enterprise of any sort that uses print, what is the future of print? How is it going to be used going forward? Well, I think I can classify that in three different ways. In my opinion, print is going through three stages. One is the obsolete stage, those items that are no longer being printed. Two is the questionable stage. And three is the very essential form of print. So let's start with the obsolete, okay? And I got a few examples of some obsolete things that may be of value to look at. Anyone know what this is? This was one of my favorite albums when I was a young person, Pete Seeger. Well, there used to be a whole industry about printing album covers, okay? And even the sleeves that went into it. Remember, there were sleeves that used to have all sorts of advertising on it, and there was the label that actually went to it that was printed on it. Well, when was the last time you saw manufacturing of album covers? Uh, it's a business that no longer exists today. A couple other businesses that have similar types of uh, obsolete characteristics. One, you know what this was? This was the hot thing, VHS, videos. You know, this is something that we bought for our grandchildren. Well, you don't find VHS anymore. It's gone the way of dinosaurs. They found Nemo. Maybe they'll find this somehow. Well, I'm just saying that's another thing. Then we gravitated to DVDs and the cases that were required for DVDs. That's not really happening too much anymore. Or how about CDs? Another technology that was cutting edge. Now, just about everything is on our computers, our tablets, or things like that. So these items that used to be a very important part of the print industry are basically obsolete. Some things that are still questionable in, in our industry are things like the telephone book. You now, I've heard rumors that the federal government has said that the telephone book is no longer required to be printed. Well, I think it may be so, because the white pages certainly aren't going to be viable going forward because people are discontinuing their home lines and everyone's using their cell phone. And there is no directory for cell phones. So that may be. The yellow pages may be. But then again, what is Craigslist and the internet doing to the yellow pages? An interesting debate. Will we see this happening? Many directories have become obsolete. Will the telephone book become obsolete? Big question mark. Now, there are certain elements that are absolute necessities. I don't think they're going to go away anytime soon. One of them is this little thing. You ever see these? OK, you may use these every once in a while, OK? Uh, this is a $20 bill, printed courtesy of the US government. OK, currency as they call it. Uh, but then again, these little things are becoming very prevalent. And they're replacing this. So is it questionable or is it essential? I don't know. But I would say these are becoming essential. Or are they? Because we have near field communications that may be replacing these. Hmm, another topic. But something that is absolute essential, that there is no replacement for in any way, shape, or form, is I want my Cheerios. And my Cheerios have to be delivered in a box. There's no question about it. So when I look at this packaging, labeling, my favorite bottle of wine, I need to know the label. The year is very important. And is it a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is my favorite? And I do like Mondavi wine, so I just want to let you know. This is very important. So when we look at the printing industry, what is essential and what's dying away, we have to look very carefully. On the high end, we know that packaging and labeling is not going away because we can't deliver food, cosmetics, medicines, and any other form it has to be packaged and labeled. That is clear. No replacement for that. But the internet 
and mobile and tablet devices are replacing a lot of the things that we used to take for granted as printed things. Direct mail is another subject, but we'll come back to that later because I don't think direct mail is necessarily going away, but printing a static piece that's going to a million pieces may go away because now we're looking at more personalized, more dynamic pieces that are relevant to the individual who's receiving it. Those are my opinions. You've got a thought on it. Please respond to my blog. All you got to do is hit the blog and I'll be happy to respond. See you soon.